what's up guys? Brian Callahan Garage here. Um, it's been a couple weeks since we actually put out a full episode. I've, we've actually shot a couple, but we're going to finish editing them and we're waiting on parts to finish two of them. So, but today we are going to get my new daily driver, hopefully running, lofty goals again, uh, and braking. And we know it doesn't break just because of what was actually in the trunk. Let me get you in here and show you. Or that's the boot. I, I don't know. Let me show you. All right, so. You may notice new brake cylinders, and that is a new master cylinder. So, and I did look, there is no master cylinder in it. So I guess that, that was what kind of got this car off the road. Um, it's been off the road for a while. <laughs> Trees and dirt and other stuff in here. Um, but first things first, let's take a look at this interior again show my other video suicide doors i love it um it's a complete interior i mean and i do kind of fit in it um it is funny but i do kind of fit in it now let's take a look at the motor it looks complete um Pretty sure it's a 1600. Um, that's what I'm was told, so it's probably not. Um, I think the, the, it's air cooled, so it's kind of like a lawnmower engine, I guess. I've never worked on one of these, um, so we're gonna kind of have to figure it out. Now, I did cheat a little bit and order a bunch of new parts off Amazon. Uh, one, because they're super cheap to buy the parts for this stuff, and two, I could get them here in like you know a day. So we will change out some of the stuff we can't get it started. But like I said, first things first, let's see if we can actually get this thing started. So I'll touch back with you guys here in a little bit. Alright, so it's got oil in it. Y'all want to just try to turn it over and see what happens? I mean, there's no fuel. I didn't expect that. Uh, well, I guess there is. It looked like there was no fuel in there, but I guess there is fuel. It doesn't actually look too bad. Um, carburetor definitely uh, needs a little bit of work. Um, did not expect that at all, actually. Let's. All right, show's over. No, just kidding. Uh, let's go ahead and let's take the uh, let's take the carb off. Looks like it's got a repair or something here. Let's see what we're looking at. Um, and we'll just throw that Amazon carb on there and see if we can get it to idle. Right. 
I'll get some tools, and we'll catch back up with you guys in a few minutes. Cleaner. I'm gonna clean this, but I need to order a carpet for it because it is crusty. Um, but I want to drive it. I've never driven this car, so I ordered a $60 special. Um, and they look pretty close to the same. I mean. You can tell one's definitely from China. Um, this is a Solex H30. So I think we need to, let's put this one on there. I'm gonna put this one in the ultronic cleaner and we'll order a car kit for it. Um, all right, let's see if we can get this on the car and uh, we'll fire it up again. I still can't believe it ran. Like, I was not expecting that. So, all right, get back here a little bit. Distribute it up a little bit. Let's see what we got now. We definitely have a running vehicle. It does not run well, however. Um, the timing helped a tiny, tiny bit. Um, I'm sure that car needs some adjustments and stuff like that. Um, or maybe that's the way they're supposed to sound, but we gotta figure out there's like exhaust coming up. Um, it's pretty much fogging up my shop. So we're gonna take a little break, maybe do a little research, phone a friend, do something. Pull out some plugs, take a look at them, see what they're doing, and then kind of go from there. All right, we'll catch back up in a little bit. All right, back with an update. So after spending like two hours trying to figure out the timing and then it would have a miss, vice versa, I got annoyed. And changed out the distributor and put electronic ignition on it. Let's see what it does. So we got it running. We are 
Actually, that car was actually better than I thought it was going to be. Um, the timing was was close, but the coil was just garbage. So it would like hit every other time. So I'll show you those real quick. So, I mean, it's it's not a bad coil, but what you try to look for is start to see where it starts cracking. Um, this one's starting to come apart up here. And then the distributor, we changed that out too, which is baby distributor. Um, now the problem solved. So I changed out the, the uh, distributor first. I mean, sorry, the coil first, but I'm pretty sure that didn't work because I tried to start it didn't work really well. So then I changed out <coughs> everything all together and now it runs good. So, all right, we'll catch back up to you when tomorrow we're gonna start figuring out the brakes. So I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, day two on the uh, Volkswagen Beetle runs great. Um, again, I did something stupid, as always. Um, so what you get when you watch the channel. So this is out of the car, it's the master cylinder for this. Um, they took it out before I bought the car, so this is a new one. The problem is it's underneath the car and it takes two people, to, one person to push in and one person to push out. Um, and my lift doesn't go up till this weekend, but I can't put my lift up until, you know, I don't have cars here and like three projects going on. So I'm gonna have to crawl on the floor, get this in there, figure out how to get it and bleed it. Um, why don't I just wait and start this car like next week? But I guess you guys enjoy seeing me struggle. Anyways, we'll get this car jacked up and see show you guys where this goes. Um, put it in there and hopefully today, um, at the end of this episode, we're going to take this car for a ride uh, and definitely give it a wash. Uh, I'm getting dirty just standing next to it. All right, I'll update you here in a little bit. All right, guys, well, it's been a few days later. So this is the mash cylinder that came out of the car. This is the one they gave me with the car. Um, doesn't take a rock scientist to see that these aren't the same. The mounting hole is different because the Beetle actually mounts like this. And that being said, doesn't mean we didn't try for an hour and a half and then I actually went and got the old one from their house to figure that out. So here's where we're at. I have ordered a new one. It's in the car. I didn't film it. There's like 45 freaking videos on how to put one in. Um, so now we just need to put some fluid in it, bleed the system, see if it works. You know how this goes. I'm trying to figure out how to have brakes. The car's running great. So let's see if we can bleed this system and then, you know, go from there. Of course, I don't know if it's going to leak yet, but it's probably going to leak. Anyways, we'll touch <laughs> This thing will drive. Uh, 
probably need to bleed the brakes a little bit more. But let's get this thing washed up and let it get some help to bleed the brakes.